the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 212, Jeremiah 32 to 33. Grand and detailed. Although South Judah was under the oppression of Babylon for now, God promised Israel's restoration through Jeremiah. First point. King Zedekiah locked Jeremiah up in prison for the words he said. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. In the tenth year of Zedekiah, king of Judah, which was the eighteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar, the army of the king of Babylon was then besieging Jerusalem, and Jeremiah the prophet was confined in the courtyard of the guard in the royal palace of Judah. The reason Jeremiah was locked up can be found in Jeremiah 32, verses 3 to 5. At the time, the Jerusalem walls were being seized by Babylon, but when the Babylonian army went to fight with Egypt for a short while, Zedekiah and his officials believed that Babylon had moved away from South Judah. When Jeremiah continued to claim that South Judah would fall in the hands of Babylon, Zedekiah locked him up. Second point, God made Jeremiah purchase some land in Anathoth, his hometown. When Jeremiah was locked up, God came to him and told him to purchase some land in his hometown, Anathoth. The reason Jeremiah was told to purchase land was according to the laws in the kingdom of priests regarding the rights of land ownership. God's reason was, for this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. How this? Fildes and Binyadis will again be bought in this land. God was showing that when the captivity ended, the cultivation rights of the land of South Judah would be bought and sold again. This was God strongly showing that the people would be able to return and that he would restore a kingdom of priests. Third point, Jeremiah prayed for the day South Judah became restored. Jeremiah prayed to God after buying the land in Anathoth, his hometown. God told Jeremiah that South Judah's fall had already been decided. The reason for their fall was idol worship and because they did not follow in God's teachings. Despite this, God still promised their restoration. God showed that he would restore them by commanding Jeremiah to purchase land and also through the promise of the restoration of the people 70 years later. The reason God told the people to surrender to Babylon was in order to save them. If they obeyed and endured, God would restore them in his time. Fourth point, the two points God declared were the return of the captives and also the coming of the Messiah. God told Jeremiah two big and intricate prophecies. This was the return and restoration of the captives, and the second was the coming of the Messiah. Jerusalem, the center of religion and politics, faced destruction, but Jeremiah prophesied its full restoration. The more Babylon attacked, God's words came stronger, and God had already planned, through Ezekiel, the vision of the restoration of the Jerusalem temple. God furthermore explained the reason why South Judah had to fall. God told Jeremiah whilst he was locked up of the fall and the restoration of South Judah. This was God's plan to reset a kingdom of priests. The bigger picture was that God would send the Messiah to restore all nations in the everlasting kingdom. Fifth point, the ultimate conclusion for God's restoration of South Judah was Messiah's kingdom. God told Jeremiah about the coming of the Messiah's kingdom. The Messiah would come as the descendant of David. 
Jesus Christ would come to save the people and to bring peace and righteousness. And this was God's hope towards Jerusalem also. Even to those who were taken to Babylon as captives and did not believe in restoration, God gave them the message of hope in Jeremiah chapter 33. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.